Okay, in this video I want to talk about creating new repos for GitHub, but doing it locally. So it's very easy um, on the GitHub website, you just come up to the plus and say new repo. But you don't have to start on the website to do this. You can actually create it locally. So I've got GitHub desktop here, um, my learning GitHub repo, that was the last one that I was working on. What I want to do is I want to create a brand new repo. I'm going to come up here and inside the little plus sign where I would clone a repo locally, there's also options for add and create. Add means if you've downloaded a repo and you already have it on your computer, say you just went to the website and you downloaded somebody's repo, you want to now open it and monitor it with GitHub Desktop, you can add the repo. And with that, you just have to put in the path of where the repo folder is located. We're going to create a brand new one. So I'm going to create one called... Uh, let's say Thursday. That's an exciting name. So Thursday is the name of this repo and I'm putting in the path. It will append here the name of your repo. So it will create this folder for you automatically. Don't add another folder here onto the end. Um, this is the path that was last selected inside of GitHub Desktop. If I go to choose, I can choose another folder, but I'm happy with this location. So I will create the repository, and here it is. This is an empty repo. Really, all it's done is it has created a folder called Thursday inside of this Git GitHub folder that I had created earlier. There's my last repo, and there's a new one. Now, if I go into this one, the only thing inside of here is this hidden git folder. So the name starts with a period, so by default that's going to be a hidden folder. Inside of here, this is all the information that GitHub Desktop and GitHub Git use to track information about your repo. So what was the latest change made? What are What's a list of all the commits? What are all the branches? All that information gets saved inside of here in this .git folder. Okay, now um, I don't have any file here yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file. And by default, it's usually a good idea, so there's nothing inside my Thursday folder. By default, it's usually a good idea to create that readme file at the beginning. That's something that we do on the website. So I'm going to create a readme file and my Thursday repo, just a demo for today. Okay, so I'm going to do another video about uh, the syntax for markdown files. This is basically an h1 and this is an h2 if you're familiar with HTML. So I've created that file. Another good idea is always to create that git ignore folder. So dot git ignore. There we are. I have that. Oh, sorry, that should be a file, not a folder. Delete that. New file dot git ignore. Again, if you're on Windows, you're going to have to name this something else like git ignore dot txt. Then go to the command line and uh, use the cp, the copy command, to rename it. Or the mv, move command, to rename the file as dot git ignore from the command line. And uh, just to have something inside of here, let's say we're going to ignore node modules. Okay, so I've got two files. If I jump back over to GitHub Desktop, two uncommitted changes. I've created those two files. Now, nothing has been committed yet. You can see there's the head for this repo, but there's no dots on this timeline, so there's nothing that has been committed yet. So this is our initial commit. Added the readme and our git ignore. we go. Commit and sync. So this wants to save these changes locally, but the sync is going to push these changes up to my account. So I don't need to keep this private. I want it to be a public repo. This is the name and description. There we are. So I've got a name and description. I don't have this selected, so it is going to be public. And if I had multiple GitHub accounts that I had created, um, I could 
link them here and choose which one I was pushing it to. This is my only account that I've got on here right now. So I will publish this. Pushing to GitHub. So it did the commit and now it's pushing. There we are. So now I should be able to go to the website and this repo was called Thursday. So if I go there, there we are. My Thursday repo, just a demo for today. That was my readme file. It's being displayed automatically. And up here, this is the description and this is the title. So we've created a repo and we've done it locally. We've added files, we've committed it, and we've pushed it back up to here. So you can create files locally as well as, or not just files, but repos, both locally and on the website. So any questions about that, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.